Well, Stallions, I made a video a couple of days ago showcasing a early leaked copy of Windows 11. However, Microsoft has now released an official announcement. Now, I want to cover a couple of gaming specific features that are going to be on Windows 11, which interestingly enough, were actually introduced on the Xbox Series S and X and why I think gamers will be the first ones to download Windows 11. Let's get it. Alrighty Stallion, share my screen. I have an article pulled up that will be source recited in the description below. I've made some pretty highlights here. I'm gonna read and then we will discuss. So Microsoft revealed Windows 11 during a virtual event on Thursday, showing off the operating system's new features that will be coming to PC. It just so happens the tech added to the upcoming upgrade was already available in the Xbox. Auto HDR and direct storage are two new features coming to Windows 11 to approve how PCs handle gaming. And both were first introduced on the Xbox series consoles. With Auto HDR, Windows will make it easy to turn on high dynamic range if the hardware supports it. So what they mean by that, guys, is your GPU supports it, your monitor supports it, and then the game you're playing has built-in or program support for HDR. If those, three, if those three aspects are in effect, then Windows 11 will automatically turn on HDR for you. Kind of similar to how NVIDIA GeForce Experience uh, basically, if you turn on the feature, whenever you launch a game, you don't have to go manually into graphic settings. It'll read your CPU, GPU, RAM, uh, and basically pick out the best graphical settings for you for whatever you prefer to prioritize, whether that's sheer graphical fidelity, cornea popping, ray tracing, and nipple squeezing textures, and draw distance that'll make you bite your lip and quiver in pleasure, or you uh, like to prioritize a high frame rate, but it'll take a small but it'll take a uh, small hit to your graphics. Now, if you guys do want to see what auto HDR will work like, there is currently a working demo available on Windows 10. Now, direct storage is another Xbox series feature that loads a game's assets directly to the graphics card instead of through the CPU to prevent the processor from being bogged down. Now, this obviously doesn't mean that the game file is stored on the graphics card or anything, considering VRAM or video RAM, um, the memory of a card is generally, you know, 8, 10, 12 gigabytes. But what that does mean is that certain texture packs and whatnot, uh, certain graphical assets will be loaded directly to the GPU, skipping over the CPU. Now, obviously, it will have to make sure that you're not... Uh, bottlenecking by putting too much strain on your GPU and then having your CPU really not doing shit off in the corner, right? I'm sure Microsoft has already thought of this. I'm sure they've already go gone through the R&D, the research and development to make sure that this is not going to be an issue because I can clearly see if they're loading assets directly to the GPU and the CPU isn't getting any of the brunt of the load whatsoever, that could be an issue, but I'm sure it won't work like that. The Xbox app will also be built into Windows 11. Well, it's already pre-installed on Windows 10. Xbox Game Pass subscribers will not only be able to download from the catalog of games the service offers, but also be able to stream titles via xCloud Gaming. Pretty sure that's also on Windows 10, but I think what they're saying is that it is more supported or more baked in on Windows 11. The Xbox app by default is installed on Windows 10. I mean, you know, Microsoft, Xbox, Microsoft, Windows 10, it, it already comes installed. Uh, in fact, you have to uninstall it if you don't want the Xbox app. And not just that, there's also Xbox plugins that are already installed that do a lot of, um, that use a lot of Xbox accessories if you're trying to play on your PC and stuff like that. So not really sure what they're getting at here. I guess just that it's a smoother integration with the Xbox application and with Game Pass. But like if I click down here, taking a little while to load here, my golly. Come on, you're making me look stupid in front of my friends. There it goes. Oh yeah, here's Game Pass and of course, you know, EA Play, which is a separate program that you do have to manually install and that is in its beta phase and whatnot. But yeah, here's, here's uh, you know, these are all the Bethesda games. Cool. Windows 11 will be the first upgrade since the release of Windows 10 in 2015. So six years ago now. Microsoft has yet to provide a release date for its upcoming operating system, but said it would be out by the end of the year. So here's what I will say. I do strongly believe that gamers will be some of the first people to actually uh, upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10, and here is why. Only about 60% of Windows users are using Windows 10, which means the remainder of that percentile are using Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP, etc. However, however, Steam's actually been running a survey over the last couple of years, and it has shown that 90, I think it was 96 or 98, Anyway, high 90s. 
percent of users that have Steam client installed, the Steam game launcher, are running Windows 10, which means that gamers most likely are going to be some of the first people to get the newest operating system, especially because it seems like Windows 11 is based on a Windows 10 build. There shouldn't be a lot of bugs or glitches or any kind of quirky features because it's not like the jump from 7 to 10 or Vista to 10 because it's more or less 10 with a Mac OS looking coat of paint on it. Uh, definitely had more of a Macintosh vibe to it with things like the centered taskbar and even the uh, and even the start menu also had uh, kind of a, a Mac OS vibes. But the fact is, as far as how it actually performs, it's in essence, it should perform exactly like Windows 10, but with a couple of new features, those being direct storage and auto HDR, which are already on the Xbox series which isn't surprising because those are also from Microsoft. So me personally, I will be getting Windows 11 as soon as I possibly can, not only because I'm interested or intrigued to test out the new features of it firsthand and get deep inside of the new operating system tip to tits and explore the inside, the guts of the, uh, the new operating system, if you will. I like to go deep with it. But also for content sake, I would like to do a review of 11 and then a comparison between 10 and 11 specifically for gamers. How does it handle Steam? How does it handle Activision Blizzard's launcher? How does it, head, how does it handle Epic Games launcher? How does auto HDR and direct storage actually work? Is it a hindrance? Is it a nuisance? Or does it actually boost the performance of games? Granted, I should probably get an HDR monitor before I get Windows 11. Yeah. Well, that is going to do it, boys. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it get seen by more people. So this information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a plethora of news in the gaming community and industry. That's the word of the day there, boys. Plethora. Use it in a sentence in the comment section, as in, I ate a plethora of pancakes today and I have a stomach ache, or uh, it's going to be raining this weekend. So I'll be playing a plethora of games. Subscribe to put an extra two inches on your peen. Well, more realistically, what it does is notifies you when my new videos come online. But don't forget to tallywhack the notification bell as well, which, by the way, works about 40 percent of the time. YouTube's got this weird thing going on right now where the notification bell, it, it, it's got a crack in it right now, kind of like the Liberty Bell. So uh, when, when she gongs, it makes a weird hum. Kind of the acoustics are all off. So sometimes you don't get notified. Um, because I'm, I'm far from you geographically. So sometimes I can't be like, hey, you know, Brad, Chris, Sarah, Jerry, Stallion, Stallionette, my new video is live. So, you know, doing your part, your due diligence by hitting the notification bell, it may or may not help. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow because I upload daily. Peace.